Hey y'all, welcome to another meaty Monday on Uncle Bub's Bale Buckle Beer Reviews. So what I've got is not really a beer, it's mead. And uh, I know a lot of y'all have never tried mead, um, but I'm assuming most of you at least know what mead is. Mead is made from honey um, instead of a, a grain, uh, it's, it's made from honey. Um, and I had never tried mead till I saw this advertisement on Facebook for Growing Fail Meadery. And uh, that I, I ended up buying some mead uh, through that advertisement on Facebook because I'd never tried it. And, you know, I, I can find mead in my local liquor store, but dadgum, it comes in a bottle, and the bottle is about 30 bucks. And I'm just, I, you know, for something I ain't never tried, I don't want to dish out no 30 bucks. But... <laughs> But I dished out, I, thought, I don't know what I paid for the case. I can't remember now. But it was a lot more than 30. But I got 24, <laughs> got 24 cans instead of one bottle. Anyway, what I've got today is a Valkyrie's Choice Original Craft Mead. It's a 6.9% alcohol by volume. Um, I've actually reviewed this mead before. Um, I reviewed it, man, it's been at least last year, if not the year before. I don't know when I reviewed it, to tell you the truth. I'll try to put a link. I'll try to put a link at the at the in the end of the video where you get those little square videos, previous whatever, I'll put that up there. But uh, this Valkyrie's Choice is the original craft mead based on the Viking era ceremonial meads. Valkyrie's Choice is fermented completely dry and comes in at an outrageously drinkable 6.9%. Like a Valkyrie, this drink is simultaneously beautiful and powerful, a beverage worth of honor and respect. Um, Growing Fell Meadery produces historically inspired craft meads from pure wildflower honey. Our drinks are meant for feasting, whether during high summer, midwinter, or every day. Grab some friends, grab a pint, and join the feast. And this is a woman-independent-owned meadery out of uh, St. Alban, St. Albans, Vermont. Okay, so that's just a little bit about this stuff. So we're gonna try this Valkyrie's Choice today on a meaty Monday. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, so it has very little carbonation, but it's got a little bit. You can see the bubbles swirling around in there. But it has no head. Um, it's it's pretty. It's pretty in gold. It kind of looks like real fine clover honey. Is what it looks like. You ever seen like what what was the honey when we were growing up? I think it was Sue Bee. When I was kid, they, they used to have Sue Bee honey. It was real real bright yellow like that. I think that was right. I, I don't know. Y'all can leave me a comment if y'all remember. I think it was Sue Bee. And they had like an Indian girl on the front of it or something. Seems like I don't know. I've been that's been a half a half a century ago. <laughs> I can't hardly remember back that far. But anyway, it, it's beautiful. It kind of has a little bit of a little bit of a, a natural a natural. Uh, uh, aroma coming I don't know how to describe it y'all earthy it's not earthy it's something it's not I don't know a little, little kind of aroma coming off of it but it's beautiful pretty pretty bright gold color alright so this uh, Valkyrie's Choice original craft mead at a 6.9% alcohol by volume is for all American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you, hardworking Americans, for all you do uh, to provide for yourselves and your families and pay your own way. Uh, I sure do appreciate it because I know that I do my part and I appreciate the parts that you do providing for your fellow Americans with goods and services and stuff like that. Thank you. Cheers, brothers and sisters. Oh, wow. I tell you what. All right, I got to be honest with you. 
Uh, <clears throat> I bought this stuff on online uh, on, through a Facebook ad just because I wanted to try some meat. And, you know, when I first got it, I was like, okay, it's okay. It's all right. I mean, it's not, I'm a beer guy, so it's not my favorite thing in the world. However, um, tried this stuff. Uh, this is the same stuff that I originally purchased uh, on Facebook. I've had it in my fridge. It's been in my fridge for ever since I got it. It may be two years now. It's, it's been over a year for sure. But the thing about it is, this stuff does not have an expiration date on it. I've looked it up and see, you know, how long does mead last, all that kind of stuff. It says, laugh with, the, with thy enemy, but withhold thy thought. Laugh with thy enemy, but withhold thy thought. That's what it says instead of having a code date on the bottom of the can. It doesn't have a code date on it, y'all. Um... So I've kind of looked up and said, okay, when does meat expire, this, that, and, that. and I couldn't ever really get anything definitive. i got to tell you, this stuff tastes better now than what I remember doing it last year or the year, however long it's been. It, it, it's delicious. It's naturally gluten-free. Um, I don't know if y'all can see that label or not, Valkyrie's Choice. I don't know if y'all can see that. I can't, I can't really tell on the camera. It seemed like that this stuff has appreciated in the can since I first bought it. It has a mild, mild honey flavor to it. Um, I love honey. Um, my daughter and son-in-law they have bees, and you know they they uh, produce honey, and I always you know I always you know get some honey from them, but I like any kind of honey. Uh, it's best to have you know local honey if you can get it. It's better for you, but honey basically honey don't go bad. Okay, it it lasts forever. However, you, when you make a mead, you can ferment the honey to make a you know an alcoholic beverage. This stuff. It, you could get that mild honey flavor. And it's it, it basically tastes a little bit like honey with just a hint of lemon and water. If you took honey and mixed it with water, thinned it up, mixed it with water, and put just a touch of lemon in it, that's what this tastes like. It's delicious. Um, and it's a 6.9% alcohol by volume. This is real easy to drink. Um, and, and, and like I said, I think it's appreciated since I've had it sitting. You know, it's been in my fridge, but it's been sitting for whew, more than a year, I believe. I, I, I'll have to go back and look. I don't remember exactly when I, stupid phone, shut up. I don't remember when I originally bought this, but it's been more than a year, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. Uh, growing fail meadery out of all, uh, St. Albans, Albans, Vermont. Give them a shot if you get a chance to. This is really good. Uh, score wise, uh, you know, it's an alcoholic beverage. It's not a beer, but, you know, for what it is, I would score this. I'd score it an A minus at least. Um, I think that's pretty fair. A minus. That's what I'm going to say on it. Anyway, hey, I love and appreciate y'all. If y'all like the videos, there's a little beer mug over here in the corner somewhere. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm here at least four times a week for you every week. I've been doing five and six here, here recently, but always four. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Um, leave me a comment. Hey, if you've tried mead, what do you think about it? What's some different kinds of meads that you've tried that you've really enjoyed? Let me hear from you. I sure would love to hear from you. And I try to respond to my comments, and I don't get many. You know, I, I'm, I only got 270 subscribers, I think. I, I haven't got a whole lot of subscribers. But I try to respond to my uh, comments when I get them. 
but sometimes I, I miss them. And, you know, I work 12-hour days, uh, so my time is limited. And I, I, I try to do the best I can. But anyway, just know that I love and appreciate y'all. Um, I will be back tomorrow for uh, some kind of Tuesday. I don't know why I'm going to do a taste challenge or a trash beer. Or, I'm going to do something, so y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Take care. Cheers, brothers and sisters.